Okay guys, today we're going to talk about coral nutrition. Now coral nutrition is really important for anyone who's got corals in a reef tank because they don't just use light, they capture food as well. So corals, the corals that we keep feed in two different ways. They use uh, the algae that's in their tissues called zooxanthellae, which needs light to photosynthesize and produce energy for the coral, but also they capture prey effectively. They capture plankton with their tiny little polyps, uh, which vary in size and they vary in the type and size of, of prey, of particle that they can capture. So what's available and what would we feed to our tank behind us with LPS corals? In size order, probably the smallest thing that we can give them is amino acids. It comes in liquid form and it's a blend of amino acids which provides all sorts of goodness to the corals. You can feed it on a daily basis, a weekly basis, probably daily is better, um, and before lights out perhaps so, so the, the corals can feed. Amino acids, a good all-rounder and you should feed that all the time. Then we've got phytoplankton. So phytoplankton is marine green water effectively. It's what blooms in the ocean and starts the whole kind of food chain right up to whales. So we've got tiny phytoplankton which itself feeds on light and nutrients and produces algae, green cells. A lot of corals are adapted to eat phytoplankton, especially soft corals, things like clams, um, SPS corals. So phyto is a good one to have. It comes in two forms. You can have this kind of preserved version, which you open and then uh, you can keep in the fridge or you can get live phytoplankton. Next, we've got zooplankton. So in the ocean, phytoplankton is fed on by zooplankton, animals, uh, tiny critters, tiny shrimp-like organisms that feed on phytoplankton. That's the next step up in the food web. This one here, reefroids is freeze-dried zooplankton with critters out in the ocean. It's a fine powder, and that will be taken by, lo again, lots of corals, soft corals, SPS corals, and LPS corals. Also filter-feeding organisms. So that is worth having in your cupboard. Going up in size, then we've got uh, baby brine shrimp. Baby brine shrimp is, I wouldn't say it's oceanic, it's kind of salt water, but it comes from salt lakes. And um, these are the um, newly hatched babies that have just hatched from eggs. And these are effective to feed the corals. They're, again, they're quite small and you just put a pinch or a tiny little spoon into the water and it will disperse. And, and most of your corals will capture it if they can. So those are the kind of four corals that I'm gonna be feeding to the tank behind me. We've got amino acids, we've got phytoplankton, we've got zooplankton, and then we've got baby brine shrimp. And some corals will even take larger foods like frozen artemia or brine shrimp, mysis, krill, and it goes up and up and up depending on the type of coral. But those are the four that I recommend anyway.